<clears throat> okay, so you have had that might be the chair breaking. There's also a fly closer to the camera than I am. Two flies, that's good. So what I'm going to do now is a quick uh, version of this. I've not done one of these before yet. I've done things similar. Uh, we've had so I've had some entries on the internet already, which is good. I'll post them up um, when I'm able. Um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to use the materials as well that I bought in a perfect world, in a utopia. Um, what I would have had paints, I'd have had printmaking, I've had all this stuff. However, I'm not sure if you're aware, but at the moment there's a rule of six in place, which means that only a certain number of people can congregate in a place at one time. So, for instance, if I had an open workshop, only five people could come because I'd be one of the six. Um, everything, everyone had to wear a mask, everyone had to hand sanitize, and I honestly couldn't see the point in having loads of stuff around. So I've just bought some, some stuff, just like stuff that's easy to work with, quick to work with, people can use it and then go. Um, so I've just bought some Sharpies and some super tips. Um, I'll have a few other bits and pieces as well, just a bit messier. But um, I, also I'd like people to be able to take their art home with them when they're finished. And so using paint, which needs to dry and stuff, makes that a bit more difficult. Um, whereas using pens isn't as difficult. Um, I have got paint on the table. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so I'm just going to get cracking. Um, it's worth saying now, as proper art tools go, super tips are rubbish because uh, the slightest provocation, they... Uh, they dissolve and wipe and they just get messy. However, in terms of just like being fun to use, they're the best. Uh, I can't think of a felt pen which is better just for like drawing with. So I'm gonna use some of these. And I'm also, yeah, so let's just go. And while I work, uh, I don't know, I'll try and move that a bit closer so you can at least see that. So it's just gonna be watching me, which I mean I'm pretty, but I'm not that interesting. Uh, let's see if I can move the camera closer. Bear with me. It's fine. There we go, you can sort of see that now, that's better. Uh, I'm not comfortable with this chair. Right. There you go. I mean, yeah, that's fine, is it? That's fine, you don't want to watch me faff about with this. Um, and that painting that just fell over is fine, it just fell on the floor, didn't fall down a hole or anything. Um, yeah, so while I'm doing this, let's just have a quick chat about what I'm thinking with I don't know. So recently I did another uh, sort of challenge, exercise like this, which is called No New Ideas, where I took a page from my graphic novel uh, Petrichor, which boldly stated on one page, and well, not just one page, a few pages, that there are no new ideas. Uh, and it was sort of a challenge to any participants to question whether or not there were new ideas. Uh, some people, uh, some people bounced on it. It was really exciting. Some people had a harder time with it and didn't didn't um, like contacted me privately and said that they didn't necessarily agree with the idea. And no, that's cool. I'm happy. But um, yes, but I thought it was interesting. To do the same again here, the idea is that to make it collaborative uh, and obviously when I thought about this originally it was that people would be able to come in and we'd 
sort of have a chat while people worked on something like this. But now I'm making it a sort of online thing, so. Um. Jesus Christ. Hello. <sighs> yeah, so it's good. Right, hopefully this, the, the, the tripod will stand up now, we'll see. Uh, I don't know if I should go quicker or slower. Um, so yeah, so the idea here is that while people are doing this, having this I don't know as a central part of whatever their finished image is will make them question what it is they're presenting that they don't know. Uh, whether that is they don't know their place in the world uh, whether they're right-wing or left-wing or they agree with uh, I don't know Trump or Corbyn or uh, Jim Davidson ugh. or or whether they just don't know how to make things better um, it's I don't think people want a terrible world F for some reason people aren't able to agree on what a good world looks like but they're all convinced that each other's idea of what a good world looks like is the wrong one um, <coughs> excuse me so I don't know what the correct answers are I know that too much time online has muddied all of the questions uh, I watched a film last night, I think, or maybe the night before, which sort of reaffirmed some of my opinions of what's happening online, called Social Dilemma on Netflix. I'm very wary of documentaries on Netflix because uh, there are good ones, but I've watched some absolute pony on there that's just made me angry. And like, there's there's been times I've watched stuff on Netflix and then I've not watched TV for another week just because I couldn't stand the idea of being duped again. That's uh, separate to what's going on here. I apologise, I'm, I'm not here to complain about Netflix. But yeah, I watched Social Dilemma, which sort of breaks down um, some of what's happening with social media at the moment, some of why divisions are happening and why social media uh, and the platforms that deliver it are accidentally making division worse because they've just been built to keep people reading. And it just turns out that what people like to read is stuff that makes that, that winds them up. So I recommend if you've got if you've got Netflix, go and watch the uh, go and watch Social Dilemma. Uh, it's a good watch. So that's one thing. Um, we just live in an outrage society where everybody's got to be outraged about something at all times. Otherwise, they're not participating somehow. There's that feeling that. Unless you're outraged, you're not participating. At the same... And that's tiring. Constantly being asked to be out... Constantly being expected to be outraged about something is galling. Um, it's certainly turned me off, political discourse. Uh, the fact that everything's got to be an argument. If you don't agree... That you're expected to agree with people on everything because you agree with them on one thing that nobody seems to understand what the left wing is anymore it gets conflated left wing i suppose is is socialism right but it gets conflated with liberalism which isn't necessarily socialism um and yeah things just keep going round and round like families falling out because of who they vote for and then on top of it all like I've said this elsewhere and I'll probably say it uh, places again I was brought up reading 2000 not brought up I, I grew up reading 2000 AD and the the message that was very clear from reading writers like Pat Mills is that the rich are the enemy uh, deviance is encouraged um, rebellion is encouraged um, I think the main thing I took from that is that the rich are the enemy. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not well off. I'm sat in my garage. My car's over there. 
Um, I've lent a piece of wood against it in case I accidentally fill my license plate. That's by the by. I'm not going to pretend that I am poor, but I'm not rich. Uh, we have been conditioned as a society. No, we haven't. What am I saying? But we keep getting distracted from the fact that the baddies are the people who have the most money. Uh, the concept of a person being a billionaire is outrageous. Um, uh, but we're sort of uh, we're sort of stuck in a system. I know that Jeff Bezos having billions of dollars is stupid. I also know that the quickest way to get the book I want is to order it off Amazon. Uh, and it's a bit of a trap. Um, and it's one that I don't know how to get out of. <sighs> and so, yeah, it's, it's so... It, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so on to the other question about whether there's a role for artists to be activists and whether uh, art whether activism and art can sit with each other whether art is uh, uh, an effective way of being an activist uh, and again I don't know I know that I personally as an artist am not an activist I use art to talk about comics and I use art to talk about ghosts and I use art to talk about uh, like weird fringe science and I use art to just explore what happens on a page when you put things here and here and here. I've got to fess up the fact that as an artist I'm not an activist and it being part of the young blood and having people in the group who are heavily into activism and I admire them so much for it it's sometimes hard to be part of that conversation because uh, it feels like I'm not doing enough as an artist to support the things which these people I like are interested in uh, and are fighting for uh, there's a bit of real talk from me there um, also personal take a lot of the time artists are using activism consciously or unconsciously and maybe they're not maybe there's just me reading too much into it but they're using the tools of activism to draw attention to themselves I think if you there are instances of artists having produced activist artwork artwork which serves a particular purpose and they've made it anonymous so that the attention isn't being drawn towards themselves but a lot of the time especially on social media activist and sort of activists both ways so let's uh like right-wing activists and uh left-wing activists it's as much about making people aware of individuals as it is about um Turn this upside down. Oh, no. Sorry, I appreciate that this camera angle. You're actually seeing as much of me as you are of the picture, which probably isn't the most exciting for you. Uh, where was it going? Oh yeah, it's, it's about it's about drawing attention to the individual rather than the cause. Some of the time, uh, similarly with protests, where uh, we. You don't see it as much anymore because the dialogue's changed but you, you used to get after a big protest a lot of the social media commentary would be about which were the funniest signs not which were the most effective signs which were the most truthful signs but which were the funniest signs which i don't know comedy is activism there's there's just something about it i can't put my finger on something about it which isn't quite right 
Right, so I've done a bunch of this. I don't know if you can see that. It's just colouring in at the moment, uh, which I suppose is enough, and I suppose it's what you get if you give colouring in tools as part of the um, as part of the creation process. So I'm going to doodle away at this for a little bit longer. Um, try and pull out some extra shapes from it using a uh, handwriting pen, which. I've stolen from my children just to give it a bit of extra bend and weave. Um, so yeah, what should I be talking about now? I should be talking about arts and activism, about the problems of the world about what people can do about it, but uh, I don't know, and I know I keep saying I don't know a lot in this video, and I know that it might seem that I'm doing it on purpose, but I'm not. I... Uh, in my other non-art career, um, I'm relatively relatively successful at that I think uh, I won't go into the details of what it is but I was telling my daughter that one of the main skills I've developed over the years just to keep things going not necessarily to make me better at my job but to keep things moving at my job is that I've become there a person who is willing to ask silly questions or make silly statements in order to get the people who know the actual answers to come out with them um, and it's difficult because it takes a certain amount of bravery and also stupidity to be willing to say stupid things in front of clever people to get a decent outcome but that's sometimes what you've got to do um, and it's something that I've not been able to do on social media so on I've been on Twitter for over to 11 years now an extraordinary amount of time really uh, I don't know if I was an early adopter but I've been on it for a long time and I have learned more through watching than participating that you can't ask silly questions on Twitter and expect to get intelligent answers back because you'll just get people framing their responses in order to draw attention to how clever they are. It's very rare that you will get reasoned, thoughtful answers on Twitter because the platform is no longer designed for that. Uh, the currency on Twitter is um, reaction and fame, I guess. Uh, yeah. So that's why in social media, and also Facebook, because people don't argue. I think you need a certain amount of respect and friendliness for arguments to work online, and you can't do that anymore. Uh, forums were bad enough when they were, and they were a big thing. Uh, and I suppose Reddit is a massive forum. Everyone knows what a cesspool Reddit is now. <clears throat> so I think we might need to start having conversations like that away from online, which is much more difficult because we can't. Bloody spit on the page, it was gross. Because we can't do that anymore. We can't meet up. We can't talk about things. Um, and what I have found is in, in situations where that is almost possible everybody including me is loaded with so much misinformation which has just been chucked at them from the internet that before you can have a realistic conversation you've got to get past everyone's bullshit uh, I've, I've been filled up with it uh, people I love and respect have been full, filled up with it um, and so you've got to get past all that first which is a lot of effort and are people willing to put in the effort anymore 
I don't know. I, I avoid effort wherever possible. Um, so yeah. So this is is sort of nice-ish. That's all right. I think if I was using uh, my like other tools like brush pens and the stuff I'd normally use, it would look very different if I had a white paint pen here as well. That's something that I'll think about for when people actually get a chance to, if, if they do it in real life, uh, what they might want to do. But I'm just going to leave that there because this video has been going on for a little while now and I don't want people to get bored of it. So yeah, um, I'll put the link in the description um, or just go to garethahopkins.blogspot.com. You'll find instructions and the downloadable images and stuff. Um, I might do a bit more to this before I scan it and upload it, but I'll put the, ev everything that comes in goes in the blog. Whether it's not, there's no like taste or editing associated with it from me. Uh, let me just put my face up here. So yeah, so uh, that's it for the moment. Um, uh, yeah, hopefully you can uh, sort of get engaged either with Eden or I don't know uh, if you're able to make it into London on this weekend so it's the 17th today so that's going to be the 19th and 20th uh please do come down um wear a mask and i'll have some hand sanitizer so that you can use uh crayola super tips all right cheers goodbye